Okay. Okay, so once again, thank you everyone for joining us today for the live workshop. Um, this uh, workshop is regarding capture, analyze, and visualize by uh, Square One Technologies and Artrix. Now, today we capturing capabilities for any documents from uh, passports, Emirates IDs, or simple space PDFs. How to cleanse, prepare, and blend the captured data by using Altrix, the self-service smart analytics platform. Then creating uh, analytics uh, data sets and visualize with Click. Now today I'm just going to move to the presentation. So we are uh, Square One Technologies. We're a company that specializes in data. We uh, partner up with many uh, top uh, breed vendors such as Altrix, Automation Anywhere, Click. And what we do is we build uh, specific solutions to help our customers to tackle challenges or uh, speed up uh, processes that they, they go through on a daily basis. Now, we've been in the region for more than 12 years. We operate mainly in GCC. We have uh, four branches in Gulf, two branches, in uh, one in uh, Jordan, one in India as offshore implementations. And we have a huge variety of customers, and that is because we deliver unique solutions based on the, our customers' requirement. Using our expertise, we are capable of building something unique and deliver a huge value for your customers. We focus on our expertise fall in these four pillars. And the reason we have built these four pillars is because we believe this helps the entire digital transformation journey. Starting off from hard copies or any input data from your customers or employees, you can then uh, the digitalize this information, um, build a workflow to move it across your uh, environment. You can have it automated or working with your existing uh, employees. Then we have that and AI, once all this information is on your big platform, you can cleanse it, prepare it, and push it into a data visualytics tool such as Click. We also have business application platforms which helps you build uh, web applications, mobile applications, or build on top of your legacy system applications to uh, make them up to date with the, with, the, with the technology because some of these legacy systems have APIs integration issues and we map it with the new applications. Now, in enterprise content management, we are taking all your uh, hard copies and we're digitalizing them. So we are helping you go completely digital. And here is where Abby fits, because Abby will be capturing Emirates IDs, passports, or any PDFs template-based, uh, validating the data, then moving them onto your system where you can work on the data. And we have a lot of cases in ECM across the regions. Uh, we are more than happy to reach out to any customer in any specific uh, vertical to discuss how we have tackled some of these challenges. In automation, we have the chatbot on robotics process automation. This one also works very well with Abby, as Abby can capture the tools then uh, across multiple web applications that are very difficult to integrate with through APIs, and then move them back into your solutions. Again, we have many, many cases in these industries. Data and AI, Altrix fits here very well. It's one big platform where you can onboard the data you have captured, work on it, prepare it, cleanse it, do advanced analytics, even build historical data, then move with predictive moduling. Once all this data is ready across different departments, you can generate reports that are custom specific for the data you have captured. You can send these reports to any department you want or higher management. We have a lot of use cases. Okay, with business application platform, as mentioned, we work with Microsoft Power Apps. We have done another workshop with uh, Microsoft Power Apps where we have shown how easy it is to actually build an application from scratch, take the information, whether through your mobile application or web application, then take it onto your solution. So with these four pillars, we have built this workshop today that's called Capture by using Abby OCR Engine, a titan in the industry. Taking uh, hello, everyone. Uh, sorry for uh, this issue with uh, my colleague, um, Lovis. So uh, till he fixed his um, uh, voice. So let me uh, share my screen. I will show you uh, our um, uh, demo.
Okay, so now from uh, we are in Square One. We are a partner with uh, robotic process automation from uh, uh, Automation Anywhere, which is uh, one of the leader in the Gartner report and in the market. So here we are offering a digital worker um, to automate end-to-end -end process automation. We are combining a multiple solution together. Uh, as mentioned by my colleague Fuad, we are dealing with a lot of applications, a lot of uh, 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 softwares to provide end-to-end -end automation. So one of the cases that we can uh, use uh, multiple softwares where we need, for example, if you have multiple source of data, um, in that case, sometime you will have a data to be in your database. And in that case, you can connect direct to that database. But sometime you have a data in extern external application uh, uh, databases like a uh, government application. So you will not be able to retrieve the data from uh, that application database. The only way to, to retrieve the data from uh, that application database is through user interface. You need to log into that application, navigate the screen, and uh, uh, start reading the data from that application. Then you can import it to your database or insert it to your application to, 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 to validate those information using Altrix or using uh, Click BI or any other application. Or sometime also you have uh, the data will become as a scanned document. Uh, so you need to read that document and extract the information from uh, uh, the, the document and insert it to your application or your database. So uh, one of the cases, okay, that we uh, uh, used here, we used for we are using, for example, Adflex Capture to capture the, invo the invoice from the uh, uh, invoice document and retrieve the data to the database. Then provide the, the document to to Altrex or RBA to validate this information and in, and post it to your system. Also, we are using Automation Anywhere to uh, mimic the human action to navigate the screen because, as you know, Automation Anywhere is a digital worker provide a digital worker. That digital worker can mimic the human action to retrieve the data from an application, even if it's external or internal application. Then, once we have all this information from external, from database, we can trigger Altrex workflow. Altrex workflow can uh, validate uh, the captured information, analyze the data, then provide us the result. Now I'm going to show you a video, that video for a case uh, where the user will submit a request to its external user, will, will submit a request to uh, uh, get a social benefits. Then uh, we need to access multiple applications. We need to access the ticketing system to read the request information. We need to access government application to uh, 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 read uh, the request, uh, the uh, user details from uh, Dubai land uh, portal. And then after that, we need to trigger Altrex workflow to, to provide us the, the, the result for the, the, all the information that we captured, if this user is uh, um, eligible to take uh, uh, social benefits or not. So let me run the video. OK, this is, as you see here, this is the bot task. As you see here, we have the list of the tasks. For the bot, for digital worker, you can assign as much as you want the task. Now, once you run the task, this task can be triggered automatically by listening to, to the email, by monitoring the ticketing system. Then the bot will open the ticketing system, log into the ticketing system, uh, start see, uh, uh, search for the uh, ticket assigned to that uh, bot, or you can, for example, uh, uh, configure the bot based on the type of the request to assign this request to himself. As you see here, the bot assigned the request uh, uh, to himself. Then the bot will access the request itself. Now the bot is working. It will access the request itself, read the information, insert it to the Excel sheet, and start navigating the screen. If there is, for example, any document, we can download that document from that application. If there is any uh, 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 data can be, uh, uh, we need to read it from screen. As you see now, the bot is reading the data from that from the application screen. Whatever data you need to capture from the screen, we will be able to capture it. RBA, it will work with desktop application or web application, whatever application you have, we can work. We have automated a lot of uh, applications uh, like SAP, uh, ARP systems, CRM, whatever application you have. 
Then here, the bot will look into the, after getting the, the user information from ticketing system, the bot will look into external application, government application, search for the user information and get the information, store all the information to the database or to the Excel sheet. Then we need to validate the captured information or the, the information that we get it from multiple source of data. How we can do that? We are using Altrex. Altrex can analyze those information, not only validate the information, but analyze also the uh, all of the information that we have. Now, as you see here, Altrex uh, workflow triggered and we got the result. Now the bot, we have the result in the database. So we'll close if we will uh, accept the request or reject the request and close all the applications. So this is one of the cases where we uh, uh, we use uh, ABI with Altrex, RBI sorry with Altrex, but we have a lot of cases where we can use uh, RB or uh, ABI or RBA or uh, um, uh, Click uh, together to provide end-to-end um, -end automation for the user. One of the cases maybe uh, uh, which is the main headache for the finance team to be account payable process where the user can. Uh, um, we need to read uh, the invoice details like the header details and the line item details as well. You need to uh, uh, um, search for the BO related with this invoice in your system, then uh, match the line item uh, from the invoice with the line item from your system, then post the invoice in, in the system. That can be done through ABI and RPA, and also we can use Altrex to enhance the uh, uh, fuzzy match between in the line items. Or even if we are talking about uh, 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 vendor registration or supplier registration, for example, we can use uh, Abbey Flexi Capture to capture uh, the document from uh, like trade license, uh, bank certificate, uh, or any other document. We can capture those information, send it to the RBA. RBA can uh, insert or uh, sub submit the, the request on the on your application, for example, Oracle ARB or any application to register the supplier. So here, automation and aware, Abby and Altrex can work together to provide end-to-end -end automation for uh, your process. Uh, let me check with my colleague, uh, Lubish. Thanks, Abdul Rahman. I hope it's fine now. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Great. So I'll just start sharing my screen. So thank you, everyone. Sorry for the uh, inconvenience before. Now, can you see, as you can see in your screen, that's the Altrix designer. Like explained by Abdul Rahman that, yes, we can connect all these three suites together to have an end-to-end -end automation anytime, anywhere. Now, what you need to do in that, once you have the data from the extracts, Altrix can work from the data till the end output in a required way. Altrix is based on a visualytics tools, how like the like input output tools in green, the data preparation task, which you do usually filter, formula, select in blue, so on and so forth. We have reportings and summarize or transform tools that they can work and even the ETL to do the heavy data lifting using in database tools. Now, once the data is prepared today, you need to do analytics. You need to be more proactive without even learning on the technical side as required by your business. So how Altrix helps you in that? We have spatial analytics, predictive analytics, things like regression, forest model, decision tree as a drag and drop directly onto the platform without the need of a coding. So if you have to build a time series model, to predict the forecast of future cash flow, or you have to do a predictive model to do the invoicing effect and what are the fraud and things like that, you can just do with a drag and drop and the capabilities can end till the machine learning assisted, supervised and unsupervised learning in a drag and drop fashion, again, without the need of code. Even if you are a code friendly person, the Python and R are fully integrated into our platform that can be worked. And then you can save the output either in an Excel, CSV, or required format, or even into a visualization layer like Click, 
like we will see that after the output you can upload it directly to the click without any interface in between and it can even do text mining part of stuff like sentiment analysis and topic modeling in no time today i want to present in front of you this is the workflow that we have how we built starting with the data access this is this is usually a forecasting that if on my account today i have my sales i have a current data set a current consumer base i want to know that how much will i translate if i have some new customers so how much will i earn from my new customers in the same category so this is what we have done there is a product sales data that i am having here now in this data i can see the order id sku gross margin and sales of all the products and the channel from which the sales come was it desktop laptop mobile browser type and was it a paid ad or how and then what was the basic profile of that customer once they are a customer what is the basic profiling on that then i have my new customer i want to predict that based on my historical base if i am earning some revenue how much will i earn from my new customers how all tricks helps three different sources without any limit of how many rows which type like this is a csv file the other one can be a database file as you can see that altrix can connect to 100 plus data sources directly without any issue be it through an rpa abi or any of the software or through your normal files or database altrix can seamlessly integrate with any of them in no time and a simpler side with the files also so once we have the input i'm just using small drag and drop tools like select in altrix to tick or untick the columns that i want like the untick columns if i want to hide i can simply tick or untick them and then using the summarize it is same as creating a pivot how easy it is in altrix to interface that well like in excel if you do a v lookup and you are a new to altrix user it's a self service analytics platform when we say that it's like we have a search tool you can simply type v lookup and you can see that it can be done with the join tool in altrix or you can go to the community which is 180000 plus users doing solving business problems all together just by clicking and getting the output so that can easily help you solve any business problem take your guidance as a first level and on the other side any tool if you click you will have a description and an open example that you can see how it works so this way altrix helps you be self service analytics to learn yourself without depending on any influence and you then we can work easily together then i am just joining all the files and it's very transparent in the data it can show me the records as an input the join that how how many joins reconcile and the unreconciled records separately these are the records which are in left file but not in the right file so i can monitor any data leakage and then I build my final data set to create a predictive modeling using drag and drop tools in Altrix of linear regression. Let's see before we move on. Let's see how easy it is to build. And the same workflow. If I I have my data set prepared till here, all the files join. And what is my aim? I need to see that what is the total order sales that I am getting. How easy? I can just bring my linear regression tool on the canvas. i can connect it with my data set now i have to i want to create two data set one for validation and one for estimation i can simply search my create sample tools in altrix connect it and i can break it up that what is my estimation sample like i say 80% and what is my validation sample like 20% now why we do the sampling is that from the actual data set i actually build a model on with 80% of that and i test the accuracy on the remaining 20% so that i can productionize it accordingly and once it is done i can simply click on the linear regression tool i can select the target variable which is the total order sales and the fields that i want to predict like gender age household income and display network now based on these or maybe based on these four it can build a model 
and then I can use a scoring tool to give an output and select that how much does it predict from the estimation sample to see the accuracy of my model. And I will just add a browse tool after it to see the results meanwhile. And then once you build the workflow, you just need to click on run and it will run it. And once we run, we will have the same output like here. Now, Alteryx, some of the tools are really designed in that way that you will easily have an access to all the reports that you require. Like with the linear regression, I'm having an access to the report, which will give me all the statistical detail. This is all inbuilt without any coding. That will give me the details to the statistical coding like R square, mean absolute error, and stuff like that. I can even check the model performance or the diagnostics in no time. And then if I am happy with the model, the scoring part is done. I have scored the models. I have got an average score for each customer that if this is the gender, this is the demographics, what is the average total order that I'm expect, expecting from them in the given month or in the given promotion. So it is doing a predictive analytics without writing any code, integrating end to end with your business solutions. And this output, can further be defined into a click view environment where you can upload and have a visualization. And we will see today how easy it is to even build a visualization, connect it so that it can get uploaded by scheduling the workflow in and out every minute, every two minute or every five minutes. And you can see the same output is also done within seconds here with the scoring and the model interface output with all tricks. So that's the ease of giving you predictive analytics in the end, uh, in your hands to work to, to to do things faster without any codes in your way. I'll pass it on over to show you how we can do a visualization using Clip. Thank you so much, Lovish. Uh, today, I would like to uh, explain you or show you a little bit about the click. Uh, click, uh, let me tell you about the overview of the click. Click is one of the leader in business intelligence domain. And uh, from the last uh, 10 years, it is consistent in leader, uh, leader quadrant in, in Gartner report. Gartner reports and uh, okay so uh, as the Lovish explained you uh, we have to um, we scratch some data or we we pull some data from different uh, from different data sources by using Abby okay and then that data we are using uh, in Alteryx and we have created the workflows we have used different tools and the fuzzy logic and the predictive models and after that, we, we saved this data into uh, different data sources, let's say databases, Excel files, or, or some, some other uh, data formats. Now, uh, let's uh, click will come into the picture. And uh, here, uh, click is, uh, it's actually based, uh, it works as uh, an in-memory based tool where uh, it can uh, gather like millions of records and the uh, user will not face problems at the time of creating the reports. And, and in addition to that, you can use the self-service BI as well uh, by using uh, this, uh, this tool. Okay, let me just show you a, a, a quick uh, pre-built demo of the click, and then we, we will uh, uh, show you how you can create uh, your own dashboards even without uh, having any technical expertise uh, uh, prior. Okay, so uh, this is a click sense. Right now, the the screen which you which you can see here, this is the the hub. It is called as hub. Here, all the applications uh, which are developed by you will be stored over here, and you can see different different uh, uh, dashboards and applications are here. Here, uh, you can see right now there is only one uh, uh, stream as work, but uh, let's say if you have different uh, 
uh, streams, let's say finance, let's say HR, procurement, all are uh, will appear over here so that you can distribute your applications, uh, you know, across uh, different departments. And you can uh, even uh, manage the security and authorization also on top of that so that only the, the, the authorized person will see their respective applications. So um, after that, uh, let's say if I click uh, uh, on one application, so th this is this is called as a sheet, the first sheet. We have different, uh, let me just show you uh, one step back. This is our app overview. Here you can see the, the detail about this dashboard, what exactly it is, what, what we are doing here, what is the what is the last loaded time for this. And here we have created a different uh, sheets sheets like uh, we, we are explaining uh, on the first sheet about uh, the, the the executive uh, kpis or, or the summary level and then we will go a uh, little bit uh, deeper uh, across uh, across these these kpis so let me open this first sheet here we, you can see uh, this is the kpi dashboard here we have different charts over there uh, there are expenses versus targets revenue and different different charts here you can see uh, across uh, you know a different uh, 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 categories uh, by accounts here by products here by uh, by customers and, uh, and there you can see the trends uh, across monthly yearly quarterly and all okay the one very good part about click is it, it works on associative indexing model here uh, it it uh, differs it from other bi tools like once you uh, once you click on something or once you filter your data it doesn't uh, it doesn't exclude the data which is not relevant even it just showed it into gray so basically it, it works on a white green and gray model where the green is the selected one which you have selected as a filter and the white means these are the uh, relevant information for this particular filter so when i selected 2015 we have data all these segments which are appearing as as white okay let me let me select one bottle shops here you can see in region there is only Europe is in white and others are in gray. It means there is no relevant information or as per our filter in this region. Mainly so we can say that bottle shops are only for Europe, not for other areas. Wherever in other BI tools, what happens like once you select something, they just, you know, exclude all these values. You cannot see any, uh, you know, excluded value in that. So on the other hand, let's say uh, if if you want to do any any particular analysis on one uh, one of the category, let's say if I select Africa, so directly it will uh, you know appear on the on the other uh, you know other uh, filter that uh, bottles will go into the gray, and you can easily see without even selecting that for Africa which segment is related, so which is supermarket, right? So this is the the uh, green, white, and gray model of Click. And uh, accordingly, you see all the charts are um, uh, uh, associated with these filters. So everywhere you will see that the charts are, you know, filtered and and uh, and changing according to your filters. So let's say for this particular filter, uh, you can anytime you can expand the data, expand the charts, export this data in whatever format you want. Let's say let's say PDF as an image or an Excel file. And you can even if from the chart also you can do your filtration like only for salaries and wages for this particular uh, uh, region. Uh, what are the revenue? What are the customers? What are the AR trend, revenue trend, and all? So all the charts are linked to each other, right? So this is this is the way that uh, a, a a person or or an executive they can see their data uh, in a three sixty degree uh, you know manner. So that they they don't have to be uh, uh, you know uh, dependent on on an IT team to to ask them for different reports every time they can do their own analysis very easily. Okay, let me just go to the next sheet which is little bit uh, uh, detailed. So here we are doing the sales analysis. So you see here I did not clear these selections. Okay, according to these selection this sheet is uh, is uh, you know filtered so here for uh, for the sales versus margin it is only for this 2015 and africa model so let me clear this selection so the so that you can see the the chart will change okay right now it's only for 2015 but all over the all over uh, regions all the segments and everything here you can see we are just comparing uh, sales versus margin according to sales rep so who who is the sales representative 
uh, what was the performance of that guy according site like for this particular guy carl sanderson the sales was very high but the margin was not that much but in in this in don simmons case the margin was high but the sales was not that much so even you can just drill, drill uh, you know dig down deeper and see what exactly happening over here and it will just you know give you uh, uh, the analysis based on that selection which you have just did okay so this is in this way you can uh, it is a scatter plot and you can uh, you know uh, analysis uh, do the analysis between two different measures like sales versus cost sales versus margin and you know you can compare two kpis all together okay here you can see uh, we have this uh, uh, bar graph where you can see uh, different categories as per the revenue also let's say for example if i am uh, talking about only this particular category so here you can see for hot dogs this is the revenue any time you can just go and uh, check to the more detail about this so uh, in inside that hot dogs these are the different products which we are so uh, without even changing anything you can just change the dimension of that particular chart and you can analyze what exactly happened happening inside that here you can see average sales per day what's exactly uh, you know going on you can even select a range let's say for this particular range okay what, what exactly happened what was the what was my revenue for these these products and all so uh, so it's it's very easy to use it's very user friendly and uh, your uh, your business users doesn't have to dependent on the it team to to use this this tool anytime you can you know export this data to excel file to to pdf and all in the same way uh, there are uh, you know the reports also let's say this is pivot report right now you can see here uh, you have yearly report let's say i would like to change it to monthly report okay so i just have to drag this month over here and you just expand it so you can see uh, for 2015 jan feb march what was happening let's say he wants to compare two months together okay across the years so i, I want to see what was the sales in in jan 15 16 and 17 so let me select only jan and you can see here this is the the jan report for 2015 16 and 17 so it's, it's ready report is ready let's say he wants to go a little bit deeper uh, deeper in, into one number of the group category let's say if i want to see what's happening in general cost right so inside that you can you can expand this report and you can you know create your own reports and export it or, or use it in a different way or let's say you just want uh, um, a yearly report okay so you, you can just you know drag and drop these dimensions and the, your report is ready for this particular you know selections anytime you can clear the selection and you can you can get so in this way you can like for for finance users you can create your pnl your balance sheet okay your cash flow reports it's very easily and it's just uh, everything is uh, you know uh, uh, automize and uh, you can uh, you can uh, schedule these reports so every time the reload will happen it will uh, pull the latest data and you don't have to change anything just the data will be updated in all these charts so this is a quick uh, review about the click there is one one more feature which is very helpful for the persons who has to you know explain it to the to the executive management so they have to create their own presentations so you can create your presentation from the click itself as well so right now uh, this is the the story which is already uh, you know created uh, uh, in in this demo here you can embed the charts from your uh, from your dashboards you can use uh, different uh, markers you can use different comments on top of that and you can even export it to the pdf or to powerpoint and all and all let's say you, you wants to add any any of the the charts over here so you just go there just uh, select which chart you would like to use in your presentation just take the snapshot add description if you want or anyways even if you don't want just go there okay and select uh, in, in this uh, snapshot library you see this is the the chart uh, which which i took right now um, this snapshot of this this chart you can add one more sheet and let's go to that and just drag and drop it so this chart is available here and you can you know add your comments on top of that what exactly happening what what you want to tell to the to the management 
okay in, and you can easily uh, explain it anytime if let's say that th there is a comment comes up like what exactly happening in this case why the sales is come you just right click and go to the source so it will take you to the dashboard where exactly is happening and you can explain a little bit deeper like for this particular uh, sales wrap this was the amount to you and different uh, kpis you can mention over here so this is about uh, the the overview of the click let me uh, go through and just show you how you can create a, a, a dashboard from the scratch even without uh, having any prior knowledge about about click so let me uh, just uh, just click on create app and give give any any uh, you know name of, of this app let's say demand forecasting right click okay what is the correct fine there is one more application over this so it, it will you know it, it it will help you let's say two okay just click on open app and it will appear uh, the screen where uh, there are two options the one is add data from files and other data sources and there is one script editor a script editor is mainly for uh, for the developers who are well versed with click right and let's say for as a layman if if you, you don't have any any knowledge about that so you just go to the the data from files and other sources right when you will click on that one thing it will appear uh, the lots of uh, connectors which are available okay so you can either uh, from SQL Server, Oracle, Salesforce, OLDB, ODBC, lots of things are, are uh, you know, present here. Even the, the, the workflows which you have created by using Alteryx, you can store it in, in some location with, with, a, with, with any of the format and you can use it here. So let's say even, let's say if there is one Excel file, so just you go to the file location. Okay, just go to the, the drive where you have this. And let me select this particular CSP, which we have created by using Alteryx. You just have to click on Add Data. Okay, the data is done and all your, just click on Edit, all your columns are available here. Let's say you want to make some little bit changes in the data. Okay, so you click on Data Manager, you can see all are these, the columns which you, which you, you know, retrieved from that uh, uh, data source just click here and let's say i have here age age column okay i want to you don't have to do it uh, like you know in, in, by using some code or something just click on this this edit uh, button here you can see we have age column i want to create an, an a bucket based on this age so that i can use it in in, in my visualization right so you click here you can see here directly it is giving you the the bucket uh, the option of, for creating a bucket. So let's say from zero to uh, twenty, I I want to create a, a bucket for for those customers from zero to twenty, and I will give it a name to zero to twenty. Let me go to the next one where we have from twenty to let's say uh, thirty five. There is one range of the customers. So twenty to thirty five. Just give a name as per your convenience. And from 35 to 60, let's say. Okay. And 65. Okay. Above from 65 to, to whatever, let's say 100. Okay and just click on create bucket so your buckets are ready and you can see here and, and there is a new column added uh, there with the range of bucket uh, the range of uh, age uh, by using by creating these buckets and just click on load data and your uh, this this data will be th there is a new column available here in, in the bucket let's say i want to create uh, something uh, this is my dashboard this is the first screen let's say um, i i want to create uh, you know the, some kpis let's say what is my total sales and all so just click on add measure what is where is the sales uh, total order sale just click on that it will give you option 
uh, for the formulas. So your your KPI is ready. Let's say you would like to use this again and again. Okay, or or uh, let's say for example, uh, a developer created a dashboards and uh, maybe he's leaving the organization. Okay, so you can create master items. Okay, so that uh, all the formulas, everything is ready in into that master items, and uh, business users can use these uh, this uh, logic whatever you have built here in 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 their further reports so let's say i give here a name total sales and just click on add that's it anytime let's say there is nothing anytime a person would like to use this just drag and drop and your kpi will be ready okay let me just go a little bit uh, deeper and let's say i want to see uh, uh, a report where i would like to see uh, the the customer wise uh, sales I, I wants to see for example so uh, you you see here we have the customer id as, as a column or let's say i would like to see male and female wise what, what is the the sales so just drag this gender and add as dimension and the measure you don't have to uh, use the uh, you don't have to create that uh, that logic again you just pull this uh, uh, this measure which we have created i think i have saved it in in visualization no problem let's create again just right click there total order sale okay this is our total sales the master measure is ready you can use even uh, some expression like you would like to add a year or something in the label description okay and in, in the, when you will click on add the measure the, the the master measure will appear on top just click on that and your your chart is ready like by male and female what was the sales uh what was the sales numbers anytime you can just you know change it let's say you you want to add one more uh, one more dimension on top of this one so just just select okay by male and female by terms of uh, device type what is the sales so just drag this and add device type so it will give you desktop and laptop mobile and tablet we have three devices and by female male how much time how much sales is coming over there you can even change these uh, presentation a little bit let's say if i click on stack that so it will for male and female and it will give you the the report uh as per your your you know uh wish okay so this chart accordingly we have different types of charts where you can you can use it we have histogram we have scatter plot tables lots of things which you can use and you can create your own dashboard even let, let's say if you want to add some filters on top of that so it's very simple just drag and drop and just go to the fields and select what what kind of filters you would like to use let's say browser type device type okay age bucket okay so anytime let's say i have added these i want to see only for uh, 0 to 20 age uh, what is my sales what is my you know different kpi so it will appear change accordingly yeah anytime you can let's say you would like to change the this chart type you can just right click here and uh, you can change the the chart uh, uh, type as well let's say you want to use it in table just right click convert to table that's it your, your report is ready and done right so it's, it's very easy it's very um, uh, user friendly you don't have to do much once your data model is ready by using even uh, from the data manager or by using the script editor you can uh, you can use uh, data sources you can you can add some manual entries as well if you want and your dashboard will be ready and you can use it and you can uh, you know show it to different uh, different users okay uh, if is there any question just uh, we we are very uh, you know keen to take your questions just just ask and if there is anything uh, you would like to answer it yes yes thank you muhammad uh, we would like to open the floor for q a now to all attendees 
I'd like to thank Lovesh Abdul Rahman and Muhammad for the overview of the technologies. Please do feel free to ask questions regarding the capturing, automating, advanced analytics, or reporting. Also, please feel free to share a case or an existing challenge you currently have and how this bundle or these technologies can help you tackle it. We will uh, just wait a couple of minutes to uh, see the Q&A and try to answer them uh, one by one. So it looks like we don't have any questions. Thank you so much uh, for the appreciation, Asif. If there is anything, uh, I in this session, actually, uh, we were trying to mainly focus on all tricks here. So I didn't go into, into very much detail about click. Maybe some other time we can do, do this. But is there anything you, you guys can ask us? And regarding this uh, click, uh, we we have some of the esteemed uh, organizations which which are using click nowadays, uh, especially in Gulf and in India across. So um, we we have especially uh, you know we developed uh, uh, major dashboards across ad hoc, okay and. Uh, there are there are different different clients which 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 are using uh, click and rpa and all tricks as well so um okay asaf um asaf we are more than happy to do any uh individual demos or consultancy sessions to any of our customers if you'd like to explore the op options of the technologies and how, how you can 
use them, how you can integrate them, and what value they can add on to your existing uh, solutions. But just please feel free to reach out to the organizer and uh, we can arrange for a session to help you out. I believe if there are no other questions, thank you very much everyone for joining us today. And we hope to see you in any other workshops that we host. Thank you everyone. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.